we are in the beautiful Airlie Beach and we're here for a few days. We got here yesterday. When we were staying at Finch Hatton Showgrounds last week, the caretaker there was telling us about how there was a croc spotted here around that time. And so we didn't really know what the vibe was going to be like when we got here, just like with people getting in the water and stuff, because it's a really unusual time of year for it to be happening. Um, I actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen anyone in, in the, water? the water since There was a being... toddler in the water there oh, earlier. Okay. Uh, well, well, not really recommended, but sure. Yeah. But to be fair, the weather has been pretty grim since we got here anyway. I'm hoping it picks up. The sun's come out a little bit now. Um, but the reason we've been sticking around is because we actually have a snorkel tour booked tomorrow. Um, it goes from 9am to 6pm. And so it's a whole day thing. It's with Red Cat Adventures and they provide lunch and snacks and stuff. So there's a cute little bird out here. He's all fluffy, looks rough as fuck. <laughs> um, that's what we're hanging around for at the moment. And hopefully the weather clears up tomorrow so we can enjoy that a little bit more and see even more fishies. It stops at like three different islands, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes to Langford Island, which has like a big spit, a big sandbar. So I think you can snorkel either side of it and there's another reef very close by that you can go to as well. So yeah, three so. three different snorkel spots. Should be good. I'm excited. It's a big catamaran type boat so you can hang them up out on the boat and yeah. do whatever. We went up to the marina yesterday and seen about six or seven big massive turtles. Oh yeah we did. That was good. Not sure what type Huge. they were but they were massive big no, head on them. So like big. Football. Yeah that was nice. And actually that was this place where the croc was spotted as yeah. well. We're at the Coral Bay Marina about to head on the Red Cat Adventures boat over to, I don't know what the first island is, but Langford on, Island. Langford Island for our snorkel day. Ryan's got his holiday shirt on, so we know it's going to be a great day. <laughs> and um, we'll take you along snorkeling with us. Different as much, than we expected. Yeah, much different. We didn't get as much snorkeling time as we thought we were going to get, 
but it was a really nice day, really relaxing. I didn't realize it, um, we were going out to islands that were two and a half hours away for one. So that's another reason why it was mm, different to what we expected, but it was really beautiful. It was more of a sailing cruise with snorkeling. Yeah. Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah, it was a nice day. And um, the weather was... Hit and miss. Yeah, it's still better than yesterday though, so that's a bonus. The way in and out, the weather wasn't great, but when we were actually swimming and stuff, it was okay. So. Yeah, it was nice. Yesterday was a super long day. We were so exhausted after it. It was really nice. The sailing slash snorkeling tour was a hit. It ended really late, so I got some pizza and then we went straight to bed. Um, really late, six o'clock these days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, for like whole day activity, like to get back on land at 6 p.m. was pretty late. But anyway, um, we left Ely Beach this morning after stopping in an op shop and getting another book for Ryan. Stocking up at Coles again and replenishing our water. And we've just made a little stop at a little beach that we love um, from last time. It's called Froggy's Beach and it is north of Ely Beach, 27 k's off the highway I think and it's just as beautiful as we remember it. So really glad we made a stop here. We just had a quick swim. There's no one around. The water is stunning. The views are stunning. There's mountains all around. We're gonna make a little stop this afternoon at a free rest stop called Guthalunga. We've stopped there before and it's just a typical rest stop. It's got some toilets. So uh, we'll just park up there for the night and see where tomorrow takes us. Hopefully makes it. We don't want to see Mike. 